Today I have the newest BAM Horror Box. So this should be the March 2021 box. Should be, keyword. I actually had a small stack of BAM boxes and I think this is the newest horror box. But I could be wrong on that. But we'll find out when we actually go through the box. So BAM Box is a monthly subscription box from the BAM Box company. They have several different subscription boxes you can purchase. The BAM Horror, BAM Geek, BAM Anime, BAM Gamer. Plus they also are doing now like a BAM comic box, which the first one comes out in May. I've already purchased it. I think it was like 75 bucks. So it's, it, it, it includes a guaranteed CBCS graded comic. So I'm intrigued to what value might be in that one. It's a kind of a total mystery. We don't really know what to expect except like a graded comic and maybe like a raw comic or two. So it's gonna be kind of a, I had to get the first one just in case if it's like some like insanely loaded. You just never know. They also, every month they have an ultra plus box that's more expensive, like the $100 price point range. But that's all the little spiel. Let's do this, you ready? Bam, horror, yes. I love horror movies, my favorite genre. Will I know every horror movie ever made? No. Will I probably not know a franchise or two in this? There's a good chance. And if I don't know it, who cares? I am a horror fan. You can be a huge fan of something and not know every little detail about every little thing. But some people feel as if you need to, which, whatever. <laughs> Comment away. I can't believe he calls himself a horror fan and he doesn't know what that is. So? <laughs> Get over yourself, you know? Scratch off card. Here we go. First item. Bam horror trading card that should be from the villain series from this year, and it is. Okay, first item, what is that? Kind of looks like some kind of a creature from Stranger Things, but it's not. So, first item, I'm not 100% sure what it's from, but it says, the back, Bam Whore, congratulations. This is an authentic Bam fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artist alley artists. Part of the villain series this year is numbered 2092 out of 2500 from the artist Trey Baldwin. It kind of it looks like a Stranger Things, like um, Demogorgon, kind of a looking, kind of like you know, opens the mouth. But okay, let's actually let, let's do the monthly pin before I do the scratch off, because I have a goal for 2021 to win a scratch off card. Here we go, monthly pin. This does have a limited release. Some of these can be more limited than others. The back of the pin will, okay. That's kind of wickedly grotesque. We have Exorcist. We have the, the demon possessed girl from Exorcist. That's actually some crazy detail. Wow, okay. Let me try to actually zoom in on this pin a little bit. If it's focusing, I can't tell if it's focusing or not. If it's not, eh. <laughs> Check eBay. It'll be for sale on eBay. I don't collect pins. But anyway, it is. It is not the limited one. It's number 2201. So there'll, there'll be other pins more limited than that, like out of like 200 and stuff. But yeah, that's a wicked looking pin from Exorcist. Okay. But yeah, I don't collect pins. A lot of people do. I know. I think it was one of the band boxes last month. I got one of the like super limited pins out of like 50 or something like that. And I sold it on eBay for like $40. It paid for the whole box plus some. <laughs> here we go. But here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Scratch off. I've never won a scratch off. I know some people have, have offered to send me their winning scratch off cards for like art prints and stuff. I, I, I'm not. I appreciate the thought, but I kind of want to win myself. You know, it's just kind of like a male ego thing. You know, I, I, I want to win. I want a winning scratch off. I want the experience the win myself so yeah i've had a few people reach out and and offer to send me their, their winning scratch off cards but you know that's that's your winning scratch off card you redeem it yourself that's your prize you know here you go free art upgrade number two free pin upgrade and number three Free flat screen TV. Add it to the loser pile. <laughs> Maybe next month. Here we go. Next item. We have, looks like this is going to be the proper replica 
we have Vlad. Oh, Vlad Dracula. That's pretty cool. It looks like some kind of a uh, little coin. Prop replica. Vlad the Impaler. Pretty cool. If you can really see detail on it, not too sure. Probably can a little bit. Hmm, not too bad. Kind of, kind of cool. I know most of these boxes will have some kind of like a prop replica or something like that. Sometimes they autograph them when they do. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, Vlad Dracula. A.K.A. Vlad the Impaler. Dracula Voivode Vlad. Okay. Next should be the art print. Then autographed 8x10. Sometimes they're kind of hard to get out because they kind of like friction sticks them together. There we go. I'll show you first. Art print. What is it of? Is it awesome? We have some more Stephen King goodness. So this one we've got Needful Things. We've got uh, Sleepwalkers, Children of the Corn, Pet Cemetery. That's actually a really cool art print. I know this is like the third or fourth Stephen King art print that they have done. And once they're all have been released, then I'm gonna sell them as like one huge lot, like a panoramic thing, like on eBay. There's this BAM authenticity certificate. It states, this a fan arts art inspired art print from our fan art collection was created exclusively for a single print run for the BAM box. It's been hand signed by the artist. Hand signed, oh, in that corner in gold or like a bronze ink pen. This is numbered 120, 123 out of only 500 created. Here we go. Last item in this box will be the autograph 8x10. Then we'll have the cheat sheet. Okay. Come on. There we go. So this will be Beckett Certified Authentic. Beckett is one of the, one of the three leading authenticators in the country. The authenticators are JSA, PSA, and Beckett. So when it does say Beckett Authenticated, you know it is authentic. You can trust that. Here we go. You ready? Who do we get? Who's the autograph of? Oh, okay. That's awesome. We have Stephen King's It. So this is actually the original 1980s um, like TV show that was available in part one and part two. Looks like this is signed by Ben. And Ben, Ben was, yeah, Ben was that kid. So, of course, this kid now is all grown up he's probably like what in his 50s so autographed by the actor who played ben that's actually pretty cool right there i am a good big autograph collector here we go with the cheat sheet let me show you what that oh here's the uh, a bam monthly giveaway and then the featured artist yeah the featured artist is brandon crane known for it and oh yeah he was on the wonder years too proud about that Brandon Crane, cool. So here we go, the cheat sheet, which we'll look at for the rest of this video. It tells everything that was in the box. Let's see, March 2021. This month we mixed nostalgia and modern horror to create an amazing lineup. From The Exorcist to The Cabin in the Woods, please enjoy this terrifying walk through the last half century of horror. The Celebrity Autograph it says, we all remember the original It miniseries and oh, it was 19, I thought it was like, Late 80s, it was 1990. I was off, off on a year by a few years. <laughs> That's okay. Tim Curry is Pennywise, haunted all of her dreams and put birthday clowns out of business. This box features Brandon Crane, who played the lovable Ben Hanscom, Artist Alley. This is the part three of her four part series with Stephen King. So there's only one more art print of Stephen King that will be complete. Then the prop item replica, Vladis Tepes Wachala from Dracula Un Untold 2014. I've never seen the movie. Comes this replica Sultan's coin that paid for an entire army, Vavoid Vlad Dracul. Artist Select Car, here is the mystery. Considering there are hundreds of monsters in Josh Whitten's Cabin in the Woods, it was hard to nail down the Sugar Plum Fairy as her favorite. So this actually, this is Cabin in the Woods. It is not, I am not really sure what that was from. I've seen Cabin in the Woods a few times. I don't remember that from Cabin in the Woods. I do not remember it. Then the collector's pin from The Exorcist. You could have gotten ones numbered out of 99 and 250. That is the March 2021 BAM Horror Box. Value-wise, once again, it's pretty good value, I think. The autograph, especially if you're a horror fan, everybody's seen it at least once in your life. If you haven't, check it out. But I recommend the 
the 1990 two-part TV series, I think is much better than the past two movies. The past two movies were good, but they were not as good as the original. In my personal opinion, Tim Curry is Pennywise. Nobody can play the role Pennywise better than Tim Curry. That's just, that's just how it is. So anyway, I'll see you next time with some more BAM Mystery Boxes.